Hey guys, my name is Cody Barton. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm talking to you about virtual assistants. More specifically, what the heck is a virtual assistant and what can they do for you? had ambitions of owning one but you know especially have a fear around hiring people and you know paying salaries or paying hourly wage that's one of the biggest fears that I had as well you know I felt the same way but what I found is when I had virtual assistants working within my business it was able to allow me to reduce my cost on overhead of you know paying the employees within the company by over 50% so if that sounds like something that you'd want to do definitely make sure to continue in this video but as always, before I get into it, if you're getting any value from this, guys, help me out. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, help me break through this YouTube algorithm and continue bringing more value to you. So it's important to understand, you know, in my business, I have hundreds of virtual assistants that are working, you know, within the different businesses that I own, which allows me to be able to, you know, work from anywhere in the world and have a lot of freedom, you know, by putting talented virtual assistants in place. Most basic understanding of what a virtual assistant is, is a virtual assistant is somebody that is virtual, meaning they don't work, you know, directly in the office that you're working in. Maybe they work in another state, they work in another country. So they're virtual. They just don't report to the same office essentially as you do. They're typically working from home in most cases or like a co-working shared working space. So when it comes to an assistant in general, it's not just generalized admin tasks, it's really anything that you can do from your computer. So for example, a virtual assistant, they can do lead generation for you. They could be doing um, you know, your marketing. They could be helping you run your systems and marketing campaigns. They could be doing graphic design. They could be doing video editing, just like this video, right? So there are so many different tasks and you know types of virtual assistants out there that are talented in so many different ways that you can you know, plug them into you know, your business or whatever you're doing and that they could help you and help you become so much more efficient and get so much more done. Okay, so what are some of the things a virtual assistant can do? Amazing, right? We got that. Now let's take a look at the cost. So with new administration, you know, it's February 2021 at the recording of this video and new administration wants to take the United States minimum wage to $15 an hour which that would put the average, if you had to hire somebody full-time at minimum wage, you're gonna be spending you know, 24, 2,500 bucks a month on that full-time person for minimum wage. Whereas you can hire a virtual assistant and you can have that same amount of effort and action and productivity occur within your business for a fraction of that cost, you know, anywhere from, you know, $1,100 a month up to maybe $1,500 a month, depending on the virtual assistant, their skill level, their talent, and, you know, their experience that they've had, right? So that's the cost difference. You could literally have two people for the cost of one individual here in the United States, which is where a lot of people are really making the transition to virtual assistants because they have just the same amount of talent, if not more talent, and they're able to you know, be a fraction of the cost as well. And in case you're wondering, okay, well, where do I find one of these virtual assistants at? Uh, I use vahub.com for all the virtual assistants that we've sourced you know, over the last couple of years. They do a great job with vetting them and making sure that they you know, are going to do a good job for me and they help with management and things like that. So that's where I would recommend to go if you are looking for a virtual assistant. So one point that I did want to make though before this video is over is, you know, some of you may be watching and thinking, oh my gosh, Cody, you just don't want to have anyone in the United States. You're just putting all the jobs overseas. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, you know, as a business owner, you have to look at some of these costs and these expenses that are in your business. And if you could have the same productivity for half of the cost, you really start to wonder, right? And, you know, for the businesses that I own, I have a healthy mix. I have people that are in the United States that are working within these companies and they work really well with the uh, virtual assistants. And typically this is how, it, how that works out is, for example, our disposition agent within the real estate company that we have, she does all of the high level stuff. So for example, she's you know, talking to buyers, she's you know, negotiating deals, she's having a lot of those high level conversations and the virtual assistants that 
basically are her assistants. They're calling buyers, they're following up with the title company, they're helping build our buyers list for our company, um, they're helping you know, comp, you know, basically come up with valuations on properties that we're looking to do deals on. So essentially, they're a valuable asset to the team. Our US-based person that we have on our team is able to work directly hand in hand and be, uh, basically be able to put herself in a position where she can pass off some of those tasks that you know, need to be done. They are really important to be done, but you know, those tasks are really, you know, closer to a minimum wage type of pay to have those tasks done. So we're able to pay her more money and then we're able to, you know, give steady work to the virtual assistants that we have. So um, that's an example of, you know, how you can see a virtual assistant, you know, plugging into the business that you're currently running. Um, guys, if you have more questions on virtual assistants, I get questions like this all the time. You know, make sure to post those in the comments below. And if you got any value from this, make sure to like, you know, share the feed, you know, share this video with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell and we'll see you in the next video.